Well, a very good morning from Phuket and today is Tuesday. Some of you will know Tuesdays is our day off. So today I've got a busy day planned and I'm going to be taking you along with me for the day so you can see what I get up to. First job of the day is, of course, we're going to take Shadow down to the beach and today's beach we're going to Caron. So that's where we're making our way to in a moment. And that's just getting the stuff ready, getting Shadow ready. We always take us some water. Now I did visit Caron's beach last week, but unfortunately the weather wasn't great. We'd had some storms, we were having high winds. And when we got to the beach last week, um, the waves were coming that far back to the back edge of the beach that we couldn't go on the actual beach itself. It wasn't really safe for Shadow. I did have my camera with me and I did do some filming, so I'll overlay some of those scenes that you can see for yourself how rough it was. Hopefully this week that's not gonna be the case. So let's go to the beach. arrived here in Caron and I've just stopped at a small shop to pick up some breakfast. Now that's been coming here for well over 15 years. They do banana fritters and potato scallops. So we're just going to go and take a look at that. Hopefully Shadow's going to stay put. Okay the motorbike's just rolling away to put a brick under the front wheel quickly. So we've just called in here and that's going to buy some uh, Banana fritters, as you can hear. Shadow is not happy that we're not there. Wait, wait, enough. I just had to have a quick word with Shadow there. We're only a few meters from her and she doesn't like to be on her own at all. So that's gonna buy some of these banana fritters. These are slices of banana covered in a sesame seed batter. And they also do these potato scallops, which is basically a scallop of potato covered in the sesame seed batter now i only tried these last week as i said i was down at uh, caron last week at the beach it was very windy and on the way back nat saw the shop was open and called in she used to use this shop all the time when she used to work in this area about 15 years ago didn't you sweetheart yeah okay uh, you're gonna um i'm gonna have four potato scallops please and some bananas to, to share. Now the I potato mean, scallops are five. Just your rifle. Yes, please. Uh, not, not me. Well, it's up to you if you want some as well. Just order some extra. Okay. So the potato scallops are five baht each. And how much is the banana sweetheart for? Ten baht. So really, it's up to you how many you want. You can have ten baht, twenty baht, thirty baht, etc. So we're going to have this for breakfast to eat down on the beach. Hello. Have what? Hello. No, I just want potato. potato. Just potato, yeah. How so they do a couple of a couple of different ones. They do. What did you say it was called? Taro. 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 Okay, so they do taro ones as well. But it just makes a great snack down at the beach, and we're right in the centre now of Caron, the main street. I've got the temple behind me. And this is of course going down towards the roundabout where you can go left along the beach or you can turn right and go towards Patong. Just turn around. So there's the temple behind us in Caron. So really easy shop to find. What days do they open? Every day. Every day from time? What time? Nine o'clock, we need uh, three o'clock. Okay, so 9 a.m. in the morning, finished about three o'clock in the afternoon, of course, if they sell out or it's very quiet at the moment, of course. But once the border's open and you're coming over and you're in Caron, do check out this shop. As I mentioned, I had some of these last week with Nat and they were really delicious. Well, we're now gonna make our way down to the beach and let Shadow have a run on the beach area. Okay, well, we've just arrived down here at Caron Beach. A little bit windy again today. As I mentioned earlier, we did come down last week, but unfortunately the waves were coming so far back, they were hitting the back edge of the beach. So it wasn't really safe to allow Shadow to go on the beach, just in case she got hit by a wave and swept into the sea. So we decided to walk down the center part a little bit further down here. 
there's an area that runs in the center which is great place to take a walk and that's where we decided to have a walk along last week i did have the camera i did have it running i will include a little bit of footage from that but it was only very short unfortunately because of the weather conditions last week a little bit better today the skies are a little bit cloudy a bit of blue sky i can see in between the clouds of course we have had some rain we've had some bad storms the last couple of weeks today's reasonable some cloud over there back above the mountains it may rain later on but we thought we'd come down have an hour on the beach with shadow first off that's the first job of today and then i've got a little bit of running around to do a bit of shopping i'm gonna take you along with me and see what i get up to today got a busy day planned shadows exploring over there of course well i'm now going to have a little bit of breakfast and try these potato scallops out in batter or as they're called in thai mantot is that correct nat yes mantot okay mantot mm. i mean just look at that mm. oh that was really good that was really good i was impressed last week when nat said we'll stop here and just have a a few of these i haven't been to that shop before last week and i really enjoyed both the potato and the banana highly recommended only a little small shop family run a lady's been there a very very long time so if you're in Qatar, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so if you're in Qatar, well we're calling in and getting a few of these man tots and some banana fritters well what are the bananas called in thai nat Guai tot. Guai. Guai tot. Guai tot. Okay, so well worth trying some of those. Yeah. Five baht. And how much did you have for the banana? 20 baht. 20 baht. There you go. Nice little bag full of the bananas. You get some batter included as well, which I love. Try one of the banana ones. Oh, just look at that gooey banana inside that batter, crispy batter coated. I don't know whether you can hear how crunchy that batter is. Oh, just great breakfast on the beach, this is. Another guy over there walking his dog. See there? Very quiet here today. Not too many people about. A few, I can see in the distance. Okay, well, I've just finished my breakfast, which was very nice indeed. I can't believe the amount that the lady gave us, to be honest, considering Nat only had 20 baht of the banana. There was quite a few in there and all the batter bits as well, which were really nice. I remember those from the old chip shops a long time ago. When my parents used to go and buy fish and chips and they used to i used to ask them can you get some batter bits so that was a blast from my childhood there having those batter bits they're really nice now sitting there eating the bananas i've noticed the beach has got an awful lot of rubbish on it of course we've had some storms so this has all been washed in from the sea a lot of plastic there that i can see lots and lots of rubbish on this particular beach now i don't think at the moment they've done a clean up on Caron Beach. I know some of the beaches they've been out and cleaning them up. As I showed a couple of weeks ago on Kata, they were down at Kata Beach cleaning up, but I haven't seen anyone or any of the groups advertise a Caron clean up yet. I'm sure there will be one take place in the next few weeks. They're normally pretty good taking care of the beaches. They get the locals and also the expats involved. As I mentioned on that video, I want to take part in one of those beach cleanups and take my camera along so we're going to have a wander down the beach we're at the northern end of caron beach at the moment last week we were t we were more in the center towards the southern end now they did have an unusual uh, game that the locals were playing called wood ball which is a thai sport i haven't seen it before to be honest not properly I've, I've only seen people playing 
what I found out last week was wood ball from a distance before and last week as we were walking down the centre I could see it was going on so I got Nat to ask the guy a little bit more about it so I'm going to include that footage as well in this video but just bear in mind that that was filmed a week before well Nat's just been talking to the guy that's running the group here and he's been explaining what you actually have to do as regards this game and it's a little bit like mini golf in a way but you're playing it with um, a different style club and uh, a wooden ball and basically they have ropes on the floor the ball's not allowed to go outside of these ropes so you've got like a an area that you've got to keep the ball inside if you go outside of the roped off area then that is a foul and the idea is you start at one at number one which is right down there and there's 12 sections that you have to complete without fouling and the idea is to get your ball through this target at each section and then there's some more sections of different shapes and styles so some of them are just a straight part and some uh, an L shape and then there'll be all different shapes and the idea is that you've got to knock your wooden ball keeping it inside the, the, the roped off area so you don't foul and try and get your ball through the target at the end of each course Oi. Now I did mention last week on the video and of course I'm not, not going to include all the video on today's video from last week, just bits and pieces taken out of it, but I was talking about that I've set up a website and on the website you will find a services page. Now I did briefly mention this on my last video. Um, basically what I'm trying to do is set up a page that you're going to be able to go on and you're going to be able to find all different services whether it be taxi, car hire, motorbike, shops, bakeries, things that are going to be useful for you when you're on a holiday or indeed if you're stay coming out here to live and stay for long periods of time because it's taken me the best part of 10 years to find all the things that I need and sometimes over here in Thailand the advertising system of businesses doesn't work the same as in Europe so they don't tend to advertise in the same way a lot of its word of mouth and of course it can be very difficult when you're looking for a particular shop that sells particular items such as a computer shop or a plumbing shop or something like this and you're after that particular shop and you're trying to find it and you can't find any adverts for local good plumbing shops or whatever it may be and this is where the website's going to become useful because it's going to have a list of all different services and shops the list goes on basically so that's what I'm going to try and do with the services page of course it's going to take me a little bit of time to get everything on there the website's fairly new I have been working on it for nearly 12 months but I've had one or two problems with servers I won't bore you with all the details but I finally managed to sort everything out now and it's got a new home it's going to be permanent and it's going to start to grow so there's a lot of stuff in my head from 20 years of visiting Thailand that I want to get onto the website now I'm not just based in Phuket I know I live in Phuket and at the moment I am covering a lot on Phuket but my plans are for the future is of course to cover the whole of Thailand this is an ongoing thing it's not going to be something that I can do in a short period of time this is for as long as it takes basically I'm going to be covering all different aspects of Thailand and Thai life so we're going to take a look at the whole of Thailand eventually and I will have information regarding everything to do with Thailand including visas I haven't done a lot on visas but it will be an item that I shall start and touch on now I try to give honest and clear advice and of course Thai law is not clear and straightforward that is something that I've learned over the last well 18 19 years that I've been coming here so that's an area that I'm very weary of because I don't want to give false or misleading advice because it can be done in unintentionally because sometimes things are not as clear as they seem and that's where things can sort of fall apart so Thai law is an area that I try to stay away from and that's one of the reasons why I've stayed away from visas but I will try and cover the basics and the the sort of things that I know are correct 
to give people a little information there are a lot of Facebook groups out there that I'm sort of disappointed with really and this is one of the reasons why I've started my own Facebook group simply because a lot of the people that run them either don't live here permanently they just come on holiday or they don't vet the the group very closely monitor it and sometimes I see things on there that are not really correct and not right misleading I saw an advert on one of the groups I'm not going to go into the names of the groups I'm not into that um, if people want to take what's on the group as gospel then that, that's up to the individual you know you should be always careful with social media what you believe and what you don't believe um, but I noticed some advertisement on one of the groups I think it was last week advertising tickets to go to CoPP one of the islands which is what I want to do at some point get out there so they were saying that it's the cheapest one uh, great service and when I got Nat to call up it turned out that they were running dual pricing the Thai price to go on the uh, boat trip was half the price of uh, the Falang for Lang price so I wasn't very impressed with that considering it was being advertised on a group that was targeting tourists that are coming out and they wasn't it wasn't very cheap either even though they said with the post that it was the cheapest uh, trip to CoPP it turned out not to be so this is one of the reasons why I've started my Facebook group because I vet everything that I put on there um, people are welcome to post things but I will check whether they are genuine I want to make sure that what's being advertised on there is correct and also is a good deal I'm not trying to rip people off I'm not going to stand for any scams or anything like that on the group I do monitor it all the time so if anybody's out there thinking they're going to post stuff that's going to mislead people they're going to find it deleted it's as simple as that because I do check everything that's put on the group um, and that's to protect people that join the group and give everybody in the group the best possible experience of Thailand there are negative sides there are scams out here of course there are people that are looking to rip people off that happens all over the world not just in Thailand but it's something that I'm keeping a very close eye on I try to offer the best value and the best experience it's not always about saving money though you know not every time that you can get the best for the cheapest you sometimes you have to pay a little bit more and you get more value for money and this is something that I've mentioned in one of my recent posts so I'm not only going to be covering budget stuff I'm going to do everything from budget right up to the high-end stuff hotels accommodation restaurants everything really so that's what my plans are for the future moving forward but for now we're walking along the beach now I can just see some guys there doing the cleanup as I mentioned I couldn't see them when I was further down but there there's just a few of them today starting to clear clear up the rubbish as you can see quite a bit that's come in on the last couple of weeks it's basically we've had some really bad storms and that's washed all this plastic well they look like cups and bottles and god knows whatever else onto the beaches I've noticed that a couple of beaches have got quite a lot of glass on them from bottles that have obviously broken as they've come ashore which is quite worrying especially when I'm with shadow because I'm weary of her cutting herself with on a on the sand with the paws obviously with the glass and the sand we've also seen quite a few jellyfish on the beaches as well something else that you have to be weary of when coming out here in low season so we're gonna have a wander down here give shadow a little bit of a walk and then I've got a few things planned so I'm gonna take you along for the day so you can see what I get up to on my day off it's quite a nice day actually it's not overly hot a little bit of cloud cover and it's quite quite pleasant at the moment there's a bit of a breeze helps keep you cool shadow there looking to go into the water she loves to swim just at, at the moment it's not ideal conditions shadow Shadow, I'm trying to chase some plastic there by the looks of it. I'm not quite sure what that is, a plastic lid. And she absolutely loves the water now. It's a bit of a shame the weather's not great for her, so she can't really go out and have a proper swim. Oh, squid. Got a squid washed up there. 
Fresher, <laughs> take home, cook. <laughs> I think Nat's gonna take that home. I don't think she's joking. I don't know. You talk real, huh? You're gonna take that home. Yeah. Ploy loves squid, so she's gonna give it to Ploy. Oi! Okay, back to squid. So the sea has provided us with a free squid. Not that I'm a big lover of squid. I have tried it. Doesn't really have a lot of taste, to be honest. Okay, you can drop that off at Ploy. She can cook that up later for her and her mum and dad. Lucky find there for Nat. She's got a big smile on her face now. She's found that. <laughs> I don't think Shadow was that bothered. Unbelievable the amount of rubbish that's been washed up along the beach. It just shows you how much is coming out of the sea when we have storms. All this has come out of the sea, of course. There's no tourists over here to leave the rubbish on the beaches at the moment. So it's all coming from the sea, but there's loads of it. I'm quite surprised. And it just shows you how hard people actually work here in normal times to keep the beaches clear of this rubbish when people are coming over on holiday of course the beaches are a lot cleaner than what they are at the minute but with the current situation of course the beaches they're not cleaning them as often but it's quite surprising just how much rubbish gets washed up wow well I just wanted to show you the difference between where the beach hasn't been cleaned and where it has been cleaned as of course you can see all the rubbish there in front on the beach still waiting to be cleaned there's just four guys four people there I think a couple of guys a couple of ladies cleaning up and they've done this section and you can see now that's lovely and clean wow they've got a big job though because this is a long beach we're now walking back towards where we parked Charlie which as I mentioned is the northern end today but this is quite a long beach to say the least so they've certainly got the work cut out there or they've got to go all the way down I think there's part of the beach at the top as well that still hasn't been cleaned so fair play to them taking care but again as you can see now the beach is lovely and clean or well reasonably clean anyway compared to what it was or further down what it is shadow there enjoying a walk we're just making our way back now to Charlie and then we're going to make our way home and then I will come back to you shortly once we get and decide on what we're doing for the rest of the day got a couple of places to visit I'm going to check out a restaurant as well later on so I will come back to you shortly well we've just arrived back home and Nat's just giving Shadow a quick shower whenever we take her down the beach we normally wash her off normally she goes swimming but today she's not too bad and that's going to give her a quick wash that's our next job shadow spa day today <laughs> having a spa ain't you girl hey every week well not every week but most weeks you have a spa day yes well i've just arrived over Chuntalay, which is over by the Laguna area of Phuket and the reason why I've come all the way over here is there's a little bistro called Kindi that I've been trying to get over and do some filming there's been some really good comments on their Facebook about the food that they do over here they've got a particularly good offer at the moment that really interests me but it's only on from 10 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon so of course the only day we can come over here is on a Tuesday to take advantage of that offer because normally we don't close until 7 o'clock in the evening and we wouldn't be able to get over here until 8 o'clock ish in the evening and of course that offer wouldn't be on then and the offer is any pizza for 129 baht and of course if you follow my channel regular you know I'm a big pizza lover and eater so that's why I wanted to come over here because apparently they do a really good pizza over here so this is the place the Kindy Bistro and they have got a Facebook page I will put all the relevant details exactly where they are 
on the description down below so go and check out my description I'll have a link to their Facebook page also the location just a sec because I think they want to take the order okay okay so um, I'll have either the Italian or the actually I'll have the Italian and the salami one of each yeah yeah Italian sas sausage yes please okay thank you okay now looking a bit funny at me there because I've ordered two pizzas um, I don't think they're massive pizzas but they've got an offer on as I say 129 baht for any pizza on the menu I know the pizzas and normally they're not a bad price over here to be fair they sort of start at about 189 baht and go up to we'll have a look at the menu in a moment but I think it's 250 260 something like that so they're not overpriced but I want to come and have a look at the size and see how, just how good they are You've probably noticed they do have a proper pizza oven they've also got an offer on at the moment which i'm surprised nat hasn't taken advantage of today which is a thai buffet all you can eat for 59 baht and they've got about 10 different dishes on the buffet itself so that looks really good to be honest i have been following this kindy place for some time let me just change off oh, okay so that's on the right one so we've got some um, pad thai by the looks of that that looks like pad thai and we've got some boiled rice and they've got various dishes in here i'm gonna have to ask nat what they all are because I, I, looking at them i don't know nat could you come and do me a favor and just tell me what these dishes are because looking at them i, I don't actually know they're obviously thai dishes so i don't know so that we've got pad thai here and boiled rice and then we've got what tom yum. sorry tom yum tom yum okay and then chi chi chicken and bamboo is it chicken or fish? fish fish okay fish and bamboo and then we have um, pork. Pork. pork mint pork um mint spicy. spicy yeah spicy dish chicken masaman okay masaman chicken curry there also sweet and sour oh that looks nice and yeah this is that pork noodle that you have i'm surprised you didn't have the thai buffet to be honest no oh no i'm just i'm, I'm just saying and then we've got some chicken fried chicken and soup okay that looks like a pork soup and then some vegetables and some dips and some fruit as well. So what do you cap? So quite a good selection there on the Thai buffet to be fair. And what we're talking about is 59 baht for all you can eat. So that is really impressive to be fair. So I'm gonna have a quick look through the menu um, and it will give you an idea of what they do. Obviously they have different offers on at different times So it's a case of having to come over here take a look what offers on I know they work in conjunction with the Lucky 13 sandwich shop Restaurants, I'm not quite sure so they've got different offers on at the moment I've noticed the chili cheese dog is being done at a hundred bar rather than hundred and fifty They do burgers here. They do some really impressive sandwiches sides wraps so really ideal for lunch and Then the main menu if I can get to it if I can just pop, pop this out of the way we have Okay, we have a wine list and then we have all the drinks I'm not going to go through it in detail I'm just going to skip through it but as I say they do hot dogs sandwiches they do breakfast wraps there's a long list of breakfasts from yogurt and berries through to a full English they do appetizers here I think they do a lot of Italian food I think they're an Italian stroke Thai stroke European restaurant I will have a word with one of them in a moment I haven't spoke to anybody yet I've just literally come here set up and started to film so burgers again on the menu again burger starting at 179 bar going all the way up to 240 so not expensive for burgers across the island there's a lot of places that are actually more expensive than that that i've seen sandwiches premium sandwiches i think that's what nat's having of course the pizzas that i told you about uh, they start at 179 and then they do pasta dishes as well 
So you've got a good choice of different pasta dishes. I didn't want to go too much into detail in the menu because it can get a little bit boring, but I just wanted to come over and really check it out. As I say, it's our day off. Great day to come over and take advantage of the offers that they're doing on the pizzas and also the Thai buffet. As I mentioned, I'm surprised Nat's not took advantage of that, but she's wanting to try. What, what, what did you order, Nat? What have you ordered? Is it, is it a sandwich? Sandwich. Yeah, so you've ordered one of their premium sandwiches, have you? Okay. Okay, so we're going to wait now until the, the food arrives, and then I'll come back to you once it arrives. So I've just come over and I'm watching the guy make the pizzas, because they make them fresh here. So it's nice to see the pizzas being made. Looking forward to this pizza. I'm not sure how they can really do this offer for 129 baht for any pizza because pizzas over here tend to be very expensive to be honest because a cheese is very expensive here and also things like salami and the Italian sausage this is very yeah the peppers are not so, so expensive but the salami and the, the the Italian sausage which are the two pizzas that I've ordered these particular ingredients are expensive over here <laughs> looking forward to this I am very much looking forward to these pizzas okay well I'm gonna leave the guy now to finish off and see what the results are oh wow I mean just check these pizzas out guys these are 129 baht I mean this is just crazy prices wow that is very impressive I have to say that is spot on <laughs> oh, wow. Can you believe that? 129 baht, wow. I really don't know how they can do it for that sort of price. As I've mentioned, the ingredients are quite expensive over here, particularly the cheese is very dear in Thailand. I have found a few places which I will share on my website where you can get reasonable price on cheese, but generally cheese is very expensive. Salami is very expensive, there's no doubt about that. And Italian sausage again, because these are imported ingredients. So, wow, very impressed with that indeed. Yeah. Okay, so now the sandwich is coming. Huh. Okay, now Nat's ordered. Which sandwich did you order, Nat? Can you remember what it was? Which... Submarine. This is the submarine. Yeah. Is this one of your premium sandwiches? Yes. yes. Um, you do quite a bit of Italian food, yes? Yeah, Italian food. So it's an Italian stroke, Thai bistro, indie bistro. Okay, cup and cap, thank you. Okay, that's what they describe themselves as an indie bistro. Not personally come across one of those before, especially over here in Thailand. But I have to say the food looks amazing. These pizzas, 129. Can you remember how much your sandwich was? 250. So the sandwiches, this particular sandwich isn't in any promotions at the moment. But even so, 250 baht, really impressive. And what's on there, Nat? Ham? And what else? Bacon. bacon. Oh, ham, so bacon, ham cheese by the looks of it, lettuce. I think there's chicken in there as well, isn't yeah. there? Oh yeah, chicken as well. Okay. <laughs> we asked Ploy to come along with us today. We didn't tell her where we were going. And she declined. She wanted to sleep instead. So now Nath told her to call us and get, do a video call so she can see what she's missing. <laughs> Oh, Floyd. Cheers, Floyd. You should have come. Huh? Papa, come to their mamma. Oh, Floyd. What does she like? Hmm? What does she like? Okay, we decided we're going to order a pizza for Ploy and take away. But she did. She decided she didn't want to come. She 
wanted to sleep but she didn't know where we were going we didn't want to tell her and she said no she didn't want to come so she's missing out on a really good pizza here so we've decided we're going to order one to take away Okay, this is the pizza we've ordered for Ploy to take away. I mean, she did decide to come and she was regretting it, so we've ordered a seafood one with what looks like a squid ink base. So that's going to be interesting. Nice for her to try. The guy put it in the oven now, out the way. Very nice. I bet Ploy will enjoy that. Oh, excellent. So this one's got all different seafood on with the black ink base. So this one we're going to take away for Ploy. Nice, nice pizza. Yeah, the pizzas are very good, I have to say. Very, very good. Yes. I just want to quickly show you that they've got actually two areas. There's a place where we're sitting outside and the reason why we're sitting outside is because they've got music on inside and of course with music I have to be very careful with the channel because of the copywriting. I've, I've spoken about this before so I'm not going to go into too much detail about that but there is an area inside that you can sit as well that's all air conditioned. They've got ceiling fans and a really nice setting. There's a nice bar area as well towards the back and then of course they've got the kitchens behind there. So I just quickly wanted to show you the inside of it because we are sitting outside as I say. They do have a long table that we're sitting at at the moment and then there's another table there. Okay well we're slowly working our way through the food quite a lot and I'm absolutely stuffed but I wanted to order two pizzas rather than just one to show you what the pizzas are really like and I wanted to sample two different ones as well give me an idea as to whether they're as good as what people have been saying I've got to say without a doubt the pizzas are delicious especially at 129 baht now of course these offers are gonna vary from time to time they've got an offer on at the moment 59 baht for the Thai buffet they're offering 10 dishes the sweet and sour chicken there there's all sorts of stuff <coughs> as regards the dishes and for 59 baht all you can eat I just don't think you can go wrong pizzas 129 baht any pizza it's just crazy prices I mean that is really great value and the pizzas are delicious I'd come back and buy the pizzas at normal price let alone 129 baht really enjoyed the pizzas up to now Nat said the sandwich was lovely and again I've tried the sandwich I sampled the, the um, premium sandwich and it was really nice bacon chicken ham cheese on there excellent so a place that's well worth coming and checking out they may have different offers on at different times so you're just gonna have to go with it and check it out but the food is lovely one thing I've noticed the staff very very friendly indeed here all smiling faces very helpful can't do enough for you so gets a big thumbs up from me this place does well worth hunting out if you're in this local area Chuntalay this is just five minutes from the Laguna area well worth coming down and paying this bistro a visit well on the way back from the Kindi bistro decided to stop off at the Ducati showroom so that's where we are at the moment I'm going to take a quick look around the Ducati showroom and they also have the Royal Enfields here as well so it's two dealerships here and the reason why I've come here is because a friend of mine has recently bought a Ducati Scrambler and I want to take a look at them because he's saying it's going to be an ideal bike for me as some of you will probably know I used to own a Kawasaki Z1000 and I sold that about four months ago now I'll just make sure that it's okay that I can use the camera inside is it okay if I use the the camera okay thank you um, I've actually come to take a look at the Ducati Scrambler the 400 cc not the 800 do you have the 400 yes uh, yeah that's six, that's it the 62 okay so a friend of mine's recently bought one of these and he's just done a tour of southern Thailand with his girlfriend and the reason why I'm looking at this particular bike is he was saying that it's ideal he's really enjoyed the time and what really struck me was his girlfriend who's very much the same as Nat she's not keen on motorbikes especially fast bikes and she actually said she enjoyed going on the bike so I'm considering this to be a possible bike that I may buy for my next bike I've got a few bikes 
that I'm currently looking at. One of them is the Riley Enfield 650 Interceptor. I'm very keen on that bike, um, but I, I want to keep my options open at the moment. I'm, last time when I bought my Kawasaki Z1000, I think I made a bit of a mistake when I bought that bike, to be honest, because it was just simply too fast for the roads over here. So looking for something totally different from my Kawasaki. I want a totally different style. I'm not interested in speed because I've had the speed before and I realize now driving over here in Thailand, the speed is not necessarily a good thing. So this looks like a really nice looking bike. It's only 400 cc. They do actually do an 800 cc version of this, but I'm not going to be looking at the 800 because honestly, I don't think you need that much power. I think anywhere between 400, 600 cc is enough over here for the driving conditions, the roads, and other people that use the roads as well because their level of driving is not always the best and it can catch you out. And of course, if you have a very fast bike, the bike wants to go fast, you end up riding it fast and that's when the problems come. I've just moved into the Royal Enfield showroom which is joining basically, they're joined together. The cat is just to my right hand side and then we've got the Enfield here and I've just been asking the guy with Nat the prices on the 400 Ducati Scrambler. Bearing in mind it is a Ducati and of course the brand, they're not that cheap, the Ducatis aren't. And the price for the 400 is 200, um, 269,000 so nearly 270,000 this is the Enfield 500 now it's a nice, lovely looking bike I do like it but I, it's a 500 cc I think it's not going to be enough for what I'm looking at um, Nat particularly likes it in black uh, again nice looking bike but I'm looking at this one which is the Interceptor which I feel this I really like this bike it's 650 cc but it's not got masses of a power like my Kawasaki Z1000. It's a totally different style bike. As I mentioned, I'm not looking for a bike to go really fast over here because I, I, I can see the downsides of going fast on fast bikes in Thailand and the, the dangers of it. So I want something completely different. But this bike to buy new is just over the 200,000 mark. This one particular bike is 221,000, which I think is really good value, to be honest, compared to the Ducati, which is nearly 300. It's 30,000 shy of the 300,000 mark, which is a little bit more than I want to spend on another bike because bearing in mind, I've already had two brand new bikes, but I just want something completely different because over the next sort of 18 months, 12 to 18 months, I want to do some touring, especially the southern part of Thailand, working my way to the middle part of Thailand and then up to the northern part of Thailand. And I'm looking for a bike that's going to be suitable for that purpose. Now, various people have suggested various different bikes. Of course, over in Thailand, you can't always take the bikes for a test ride. And Honestly, on a short test ride, you can't really get a feel for a bike if you're gonna buy a bike. So I'm looking at maybe hiring a bike for a few days to start with and see how I'll get on with it before I buy one. There are a lot of money if you buy it like I bought my Z1000 and then you decide afterwards that maybe you've bought, bought the wrong bike, then obviously you've got a problem trying to sell it. Yeah. Okay, well, we've just arrived down at Big C and we're gonna take a a little look at some shops that's below the actual Big C supermarket, which is in front of me right now. Big C supermarket, the standard supermarket, but there's an area that's downstairs and they have lots of little phone shops downstairs. Uh, so if you're looking for your phone to be fixed, a new screen, uh, screen protectors, cases, etc., or even new phones, you can get some really good deals downstairs here at Big C. I'm just behind the Central Festival shopping centre. That's where Big C Supermarket is located. So we're gonna take a walk downstairs. There's a particular shop that we're gonna visit downstairs. They sell all sorts of manner of things like washing machine parts, um, electrical goods, um, tools, everything you can think of, some really good prices. So we're gonna take a look down there. The reason why we've come here is we need a new pipe for the washing machine the one that we've got is split. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to go into a big C with the camera. Of course, being a supermarket, you have to get permission to do any filming. But this sort of area where we're in it now isn't actually the supermarket. That's just to the left hand side, just behind here, the supermarket entrance. And there's a few stalls and shops and coffee shops and 
all manner of different shops in this sort of complex it's worth coming and visiting but there's a particular shop downstairs that i found that's really good for bits and bobs uh, for the garden water pumps if you've got a pond and all manner of things so that's where we're heading now now we've come from the ducati showroom i did actually like the 400 scrambler but the thing that put me off it or would put me off it if i was coming to buy a bike then is the price tag at 270,000 baht for a 400 cc i feel that it's a little bit overpriced but of course it has got the ducati badge now this area is where all the mobile phone booths are if you're looking for a mobile phone or have one repaired a battery replaced screens etc or even buy a new mobile phone they do a lot of iphones here samsung phones all nokia phones all different manner of things that you're going to be able to find here cases headphones bluetooth speakers you name it everything and some really good prices as well you do have to shop around of course but the shop we're coming to visit today is this one at the end it's an electrical shop they sell all manner of stuff really but i know they do pipes for the washing machines so we're going to come in here and buy a pipe got some brandy phones as well over there if you're looking for any any uh brandy phones such as samsung and now i think there's a samsung shop down here or there was so this is the shop as you can see they sell various different items from parts for washing machines to pumps for your garden for if you've got a pond or something locks tools over the back there there's electrical goods soldering items all manner of different goods some really good prices as i say it takes a while to find these places out and these are the sort of places i want to spotlight on my website for people that are really coming over to thailand for more than a holiday we're going to be staying here for an extended period of time you may need to buy a screwdriver or a spanner or something maybe maybe there's something you need fixing what <laughs> Nan says to buy some walkie-talkie so we can speak to each other when I'm upstairs and she's downstairs yeah great why well, I've got my phone I can call you on my phone if I need to speak to you why do I need a walkie-talkie so as you can see they've got car aerials here and magnet things and all sorts of manner of stuff fans speakers so really interesting shop right I'm gonna have to turn off the camera to go inside I don't think they're gonna allow me to go in with the camera running I'm not sure and that's gonna have to do the old signing in etc but they do tv repairs as well if you, your tv breaks they, they'll repair it here as well you can get tv repaired i don't know the costing of course it depends on what's wrong with it but it's a handy shop to know because they sell solar panels as well i'm gonna see, sort of be cheeky and go in with the camera running i don't know whether it'll be okay right we're gonna go and see whether we can sort out We're going to go and see where we can find this pipe now for the washing machine and see whether i can get this sorted out because i noticed the other day it's got a split in it and it's working its way off when when we're using the machine and i'm worried about it coming off the back and then flooding the area with water if nobody's around we're not going to know and it's going to come off okay that's what i've come for which is just basically a washing machine connection for the inlet for the water five meter one 195 bar they do have the three meter one as well 165 baht um, but i'm going with the five meters because i think i'm going to need five meters and they've got all the different connections there's motors here so these are the sort of places that you're going to be able to find on my website in the services making it easier if you're coming over not on a holiday of course if you're staying here maybe three months six months you're going to need to find these sort of shops where you can buy just a hook and stick on as you can see the hooks there 49 bars and it just makes your life a little bit easier if you know where these shops are because when i first started coming to phuket the amount of running around i had to do to find these places was unbelievable i i wasted hours upon hours searching for shops where i could buy a hook from or a shower fitting from or different things so it's very handy to know about these sort of shops as you can see they sell screwdrivers and testers and sockets and they're not crazy prices you know 30 bar 35 bar 40 bar so it's just handy to know where these shops are notice they've got a mac and window shop down here as well hadn't noticed that before i think this is new it's not long opened up so obviously repairing macs 
and PCs down here. Again, these shops, it's handy to know if you need something repairing. And that's just paying for the, the pipe. I've come back outside, I don't wanna do too much filming in the shop because they may get a little bit funny with me if I start filming too much. I know some shops don't like you filming inside with a camera. So in a moment, we're gonna make our way back home, um, take Shadow out for a walk and then I'm not sure what we're doing later. I may come back to you, or this may be the end of the video. I'm not quite sure. And if it is the end of the video, then I will say, as always, thanks for watching, you take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. But if it isn't the end of the video, oh, nice to see you.